Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and as many of you who are watching this video likely already know, Boosted Boards, which is the company that made this board right here, and many others that were known throughout the industry for being one of the industry leaders as far as electric skateboards and longboards go, has recently went out of business in early 2020. Sadly enough, I really did think that they were going to be a long-lasting company, but I guess just with the addition of COVID and everything that's went on, the economy just was not in Boosted Board's favor. But because of that, there's no longer support for any Boosted Boards out there. You can buy parts and you can get this and that, but you really should be protecting your board because there's no longer any support. So when recently a company known as Gecko Derm reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their skins, I was like, sure. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is putting this skin onto my board. I'll also be talking about why you should consider getting a skin for your board as well, whether it be a Gecko Derm or another brand. And then also at the end, I'll be talking about the long-term durability of this skin after I've given it some riding miles after putting it on. So with that being said, let's jump right into putting this onto my Boosted Mini X. So before putting this on, of course, you're probably wondering, well, what comes in the box? So when you order this, what you'll get is a tube that will contain pretty much everything that you will need to put this on. So emptying this all out, you do get quite a bit in this small package. First of all, you do get the skin itself, obviously, and these are pre-cut films, so you don't have to worry about any trimming or anything like that yourself, so that is pretty awesome. You also get a squeegee, so this is for wiping down on the board when you are applying this. You've also got a instruction manual, so this talks about pretty much everything I'm gonna go through very soon. All in here, this does show on a regular boosted longboard though, so it doesn't show for a Mini X. So that's why I'm primarily making this video. Also, you know, there's the other side if you wanted to see that. Also, it comes with a free sticker. Gotta love stickers, so that's pretty cool. And then it comes with some Gecko Derm solution. And this is what you use to put on the skin itself because the skin is a wet application skin. So that will make it a much easier process as far as putting this on and not having to worry about moving it around and not being able to move it around depending on the scenario. So you're definitely gonna need this. And the directions say that you should probably use pretty much all of this by the end of this installation. So it clearly wants you to put a lot on. The only thing that I would say that is missing out of this kit is that it should have maybe some cleaning solution as far as cleaning off the board, maybe a microfiber cloth to throw in there to get out some of the small pieces that are left. But that is pretty much the first step that you should start with, is cleaning your board. So mine was a terrible mess before right now. Um, so what I did was I took it down pretty much to the bare bones and cleaned everything. So everything is pretty much as clean as it's been since day one here. Um, the motors are a little bit dirty, but you're not applying this to the motors, so that doesn't really matter. But you are going to want to make sure you clean your battery, your ESC, and the board surface itself. You're not going to want to have any tiny little pieces of dust in your application or underneath it because if you do, that's just going to be bugging you because there will probably be bubbles because of that. So make sure to be safe. But opening up this skin, it is attached by stickers. As far as the number of pieces that this kit comes with, it comes with five total pieces. It's got a front piece, which I can't put on right now because I will have to remove my truck just due to the fact that I've got the boosted beams here on my board so I will have to remove that that's something to note if you happen to have that yourself you also got the battery cover you've got these two side pieces and then the rear piece and I may have to remove the truck as well back here just due to it interfering with the light there as well so putting this on is something that's different if you've never really put on a wet application skin before basically all you're going to do is cover the board in this solution and then go and peel off the plastic pieces place them down onto the board, and then squeegee them out after putting them in a position that you are happy with. So I'm gonna go through and put these on, and then I'll show you the end result once they're on. Here I am applying the skin onto the battery, and I have to say, of all the skins that I put on, this one was the most frustrating to put on. I had issues with bubbles popping up everywhere, it was just pretty annoying. Everything else went pretty well though, aside from having to chop off a little bit of the skin on the side pieces as well as this front piece because the front piece was too wide. I don't know if it was made for a wider board or what, but it did not fit correctly. So 
Aside from that, everything else went well. So after getting the skin applied, at first I decided to go and try hair drying the skin itself to see if that would speed up the process and allow me to go and ride this pretty immediately. But I found doing that method really did not work because drying this quicker than it could dry on its own ended up going and drying out the adhesive too much and that resulted in a lot of air bubbles, especially on the edges of the skin, which just did not look good. So I had to end up going back, reapplying some of the solution and then putting the skin back on. But once I was done, I did let it sit then after figuring that out for 24 hours and after that, this is the result of what the skin looked like after it had dried. It sadly, because of the scuffs that are already on my board, does not look the best, but it is definitely on there and is protecting the board nonetheless. Um, the only issues I've had with having this on, even from the start, is pretty much here up on the top. These edges are kind of not fully applied down, which I don't know why, because I did not touch it with my finger oils whatsoever and I tried to go and apply it numerous times and it just did not want to stick to that area. Also, I got some issues down here in these corners on the battery, but aside from that, pretty much everything else worked out pretty well aside from having to cut the skin in a couple of places just to make sure that it could fit. And that's just simply because I had the skin kind of oriented in the wrong direction when I put it on but it is possible to cut the skin if you need to do that yourself. And so I ended up having to do that in a couple different places, but that ended up boating well in the end. So I would recommend doing that if you have any issues getting this on yourself. After riding this now for over 20 miles, you can definitely see that it has protected the board in some locations. For example, if you look over here on the side, you can see it has prevented some dings from rocks coming up and also just prevented a lot of this gunk and dust from popping in and destroying the board surface itself. It is just going and sticking to the skin instead. This skin claims to have some serious protection properties. However, when I went and scraped a blade across it a couple of times, it does scratch kind of easily that way, but that's not the biggest deal because when are you running a blade across this anyways? However, um, I do feel that in the long run, as far as rock impacts and scrapes from sidewalks and whatnot, will protect the board much better off than compared to if you didn't have this on. For example, it's similar to having the screen protector on my phone. Of course, sometimes the screen protector will shatter itself, but the screen itself on my phone doesn't. So it is protecting that, and this is protecting this in a similar manner. And for the price you pay for this skin, I gotta say it was made pretty well, aside from the couple places that I had to cut the skin myself, it fit pretty great, so the fitment of it is good and the overall protection is pretty great as well. My overall biggest complaint as far as the Gecoderm skin kit goes is the fact that it does not include a ESC skin to protect the ESC controller here. It's likely just due to the fact that there are these ridges here in the plastic which may be difficult to go and cover up and get aligned perfectly, but Still, I would have really appreciated having something to protect this as well because this is also something that is really crucial to going and controlling the board because this is basically the brains of it all because you just really need this. So I wish they would have a skin included for this and hey, who knows, they may include that in future revisions of their product, but at the current moment, the ones that they sent me out do not include an ESC controller skin. If you wanna see a really good long-term video use of this skin itself, I will be leaving a link down in the description below because there was this creator, I cannot remember his name off the top of my head, but they created a great, fantastic video that was very entertaining to watch that showed the properties of this skin after riding it for hundreds and hundreds of miles. So with that being said, I don't really have too much else to say about this skin itself considering I don't have long, long-term usage of it, but overall in the 20 miles that I've had with it, it has been phenomenal as far as adding a peace of mind with not having to worry so much about destroying the battery or the board surface itself when I'm riding this round because just that added durability is definitely a positive. Also speaking of positives, another thing that I've noticed is that cleaning the surface of the board with this skin on has been by far much easier compared to the board surface itself. I'm not sure if it has like a coating on it 
that allows for cleaning to be easier or something like that, but it definitely is far easier to clean than the board surface itself. So that is definitely a huge positive. So if you are looking to purchase something like this board skin yourself, I will be leaving links to purchase this Gecko Derm one down in the description below. This is something that is available for not only the Boosted Mini X and Boosted Mini S series, but also other boosted boards as well. So definitely just check that link below for availability for other boards as well if you are interested in that. But with that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by clicking the big thumbs up button down below as well as subscribing for future videos like this. Also, if you wanna watch my last video, that should be right over there. And the other boosted board review video that I've done for this will be right down there. With that being said, that is it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.